Okay, chapter it's Squiddy here. I'm going to do a little short thing on 3D modeling. Especially is to is to draw a simple well simple to me, a weld neck flange, a class 150 weld neck flange. I'm guessing some people well you probably probably wonder what a weld neck flange is. <coughs> But you will soon find out. So, I'm going to start with a new part. Standard one millimeter part creates, and we end up with a screen. So, check geometry. No. No, 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 no. I just always do this to me quickly. I hate it when he does this. He always starts with the sketch. I don't want him to start with the sketch. Delete. That's what I want him to start with. You select the plane you want to work on. Then you go to this and you go to there and there. Okay. So we've got a line there and a line there. That basically is our anchor point of the whole drawing. So everything that gets dimensioned from this, this intersection of two lines. So we now proceed to draw what we want to draw. So I'm going to use this as the center line. And I've got a line through there. And now I need to have a look at the book that I have because it gives me certain dimensions. So we have a it's two two inch flange. So that's 152.4. So what we do we draw a line. So there, and we, this is what I mean by the dimension to dimension from me and now from there to there. And we change that to 152.4. So as you can see, it's moved off the page because obviously this is full size. So we extend that line. Up to there. Okay. No dimension D. is 19 millimeters. Right. To move that a bit. Come here. That's it. 19 millimeters. So we need to draw another line. Why have we gone to another sketch? No, we haven't. Right, so where's the sketch? Right. Line. Put the line through there. Want to measure from there. There. That wants to be. So we'll get this fancy thing up first. Is it that one or is it that one? It's 19. Let's just type that in for now. Right. No, it's not that. Not that. Oh, that is. I think my little number pad now must be wanted. So it's 19 mil. So I want to extend this line to there. I'm 
takes me to this damage in E, which is 63.5. Oh, meters. So we do another line. So come here. I take us. It's parallel. No, it doesn't parallel because I've got it skew if but it is parallel. And that dimension needs to be. So that was sixty three point sixty three point five Enter. Okay, L. So actually I'm wrong. Up a hundred fifty two is seventy five, seventy six, seventy six point two. Need to change that. I've done this full size seven six point two. Uh, that's right. All right, we're all right. Now then, need another temporary line through. There, yeah, that's 90 degrees. As you can see that little kind of T thing there. And I say on detail, uh, dimension L. Sixty point four. That's thirty point two. Half of that. So dimension on the centre line, which is there, there, needs to be thirty two. Enter. What was the extent of that? F dimension F seventy seven point eight which is thirty five thirty eight point five From there to there, that wants to be thirty eight point five. Okay, now that sound looks a bit weird to most people because you don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, I need to do a line from there. There. Okay. I need to trim. Where's trim? Where's the spaces? There they are. Let's trim that off. That off. That off. I don't need this. At all. Don't need that. Need that. Don't need that piece. That piece. I don't need that piece. I need to extend. Extend. Up to, oh, up to there. And I need to trim that bit off. That bit off. That bit off. Okay, so you can see the basic shape I've got there. Oh dear, what's up there? No, I want to trim it off. It's trimmed off the zip. Okay. So here's our basic shape of a flange. Now then. 
that's what I'm after. That's the finished shape. It's nothing like what it's going to look like, but that's the shape. So we finished the sketch. And now we have, we go into the 3D modeling bit. So, here we go. This is where we get all this. So we want to evolve this thing. So we press revolve and see how it's lit up. Now, that's the profile, which is that. The axis is that I want to spin it round this axis here. And see what it does? It spins it right round like that. So that's the rough shape of a flange on a pipe. So we press OK. Well, it's not. This is to set dimensions of a class 50 um, flange. Okay. Now, obviously, it's going to be a hole through this because nothing can pass through it. So, what is that? The uh, my uh, dimension B. Dimension B. Be anything depending on a shed of pipe. So, what does it say here? I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to generate another drawing. What we're going to do, we're going to make a drawing on this surface here. So we Select start 2D sketch, select that, and then we go to project geometry and project the outer edge of this uh, top circle, which gives you a black circle there. So now I can offset that, I believe, like that. Now to get the set dimension, I need to put a dimension across it. So it's from there to there. Let's have that around four millimeters. Okay. So that would be one sketch. So we finish that sketch. We then go to extrude. Select that circle. You can see there's an arrow going up there. That's to add material, that's to take material. And there's your distance. So that from there, that surface, so that top surface here, this green piece, is 10 mil. If I change that, I can change that to 50. See it changes. To change it in the other direction, you can change it that way, and you'll notice that goes down to cut, which means taking material away. Or I can go half and half. I don't know what that one's for. Anyway, I specifically want to take material away, so it's going down. And it's going to be more than 50 because it needs to be 70 because the thickness of the whole thing was 63 so I need to make sure it goes through which it does. Go we'll enter. And we have a hole all the way through. Okay. Now as you know, if you don't know, these flanges get welded onto pipes. And they don't just put them together, they put a, 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 a chamfer on them, which you've got a well preparation. So we need to put a chamfer on this outer edge. Oh, it's like a chamfer. Just like the edge. You can see how it's took 2mm, 2x2, 45 degree chamfer off there. So I want one that's 3 because it's 4 thick. Usually leave about a millimetre toe, which is the 
that dimension there. So we change that to three. Go. We have a three millimeter chamfer. Usually there's a there's um a radius here as well, so I'm just gonna make this look the way it should. So we put a what they call a fillet in there. Oops, there. Needs to be more than two. Or eight. About a ten. Ten's good. So we just make it ten filled in the emperor. Nice. Paint around there. Now then, on this side, welded flanges are usually raised face, which means an area around here is raised so, so where the gasket goes to seal the joint. <laughs> Dimension for that, of course. Dimension G. <coughs> which is 92.1. What we need to do is start another sketch on this face. Go to our geometry, project geometry. Slip that outer edge. Slip that outer edge. Now then, we need to have a circle on the centre. Okay. Let's have another, I don't know what's going on there. Or have I got a black, another black line there for some reason? Hmm, interesting. But anyway. Oh, it's gone now. Graphical glitch there. That needs to be diameter. Ninety-two point one. So we type in ninety-two point one. Okay, and then to second. Circle in, but oh, well, what's happened here? Where are we going? Go to there, to the outer edge, finish 2D sketch, then we go back to extrude again. Good old extrude. No, we don't want to take that off, we want to take it away, but we don't want to take all that off either. So that step is actually. Meter. So if we change that to one, and to, there's our raised face. Now that raised face there is where the gasket sits. The other flange that comes to it, which I'll show you after I've done this. Um, that's where it goes. All right. Now we need to do it again. Another sketch. Back on his face now. Back on there. What we're going to do now is produce a hole. How many holes do we need in this flange? Four. It says in this book. It's going to be 19 diameter. So. Firstly. We draw a circle. 
on a PCD. So this put the PCD on. Let's just get hold of that. Change that to a construction line. Which is each gone dotted. And the PCD go into this boot is a hundred and twenty point six. Believe yes, 120.6. So, dimension that that wants to be 120.6. Okay, now. Circle. I want one there, and that needs to be the diameter of that needs to be 19 millimeters. So I'll go to dimension, click the hole, change that to 19. 19. To okay. That's the end of the sketch, really. I know I've only drew one hole, potentially. But that's the end of the sketch. So we finished sketch. So we're left with that. We now go to extrude again. Oops. This um, mouse looks a bit too. Um, sensitive. Make sure that goes all the way through as you can see it does so we press ok there's one hole now we want four so instead of going through the motions of doing that again or doing four holes what you can do you can go to this which is a circular a, a circular pattern select this and you select the feature which is the hole then you select the rotation axis which is around this hole which you can see there there's the projection there's six I don't want six so I'll change six to four press enter and there you have four holes it's that easy basically what would be Usually a little chamfer on the, on the edge of here. Not that big. It would be, it'd be too high, it'd probably be about a 1. Like 21. 1. So that's a flange. A relative pipe would go on the end of here. And a pipe would go on the end of the other. But what I'm going to do is put a, a gasket in now. I'm I know I'm, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to um, get hold of this piece and give it give it a colour. So we'll go to colours. And this is what you get. You get this thing here. You go into inventor colours and we go into metal. Expanded, no. Chrome, chrome, chrome. Metal, aluminium. Metal, fabricated. Steel, galvanised. We can we can you can um, use that assign that to that there. That looks 
That's nice. Okay, I'll leave that there. Now then. Because this is just a small demonstration, I'm not going to do. Well. Maybe I should. I don't know. But anyway. So what we do there, we save that, so it's file, save as, let's put this, where are we going to put this? desktop I'll just call it two inch oops capital weld neck Plunge. Oops. Class one fifty. Maybe it's not valid. So use that two oops, inch right there we are that's it saved <coughs> so now we start another part so it's oops new part <laughs> basically Geometry again to origins, bang, bang. Right, two lines, that one and that one. So ba this basically is going to be two circles because this is going to be the gasket. So that's one, that's two. Okay, but I don't know what those are yet, so I'm going to need to go back into here. And measure. So we measure fifty-two point four diameter. As you can see there. So we we'll go back to that. That becomes fifty-two point four. Okay, we go back to that one, measure again, 
that's that one. That says it's ninety two point one, I think that says. Yeah, ninety two point one. So we go back to the dimension. Two point one. That's the end of that sketch. Now this needs to extrude. We can extrude this. This needs to be one point five millimeters, so it's one point five. There's our gasket. Get over to that. Get over to that. Let's just now. We're doing that. It's not right. It's not the right thing. We'll use that because it looks nice. Assign selection. Okay. So now we go to file. Save as. Two inch gasket. Press save. Okay, and that's that. That's save. So we can now do an assembly. do here is we go into here start an assembly okay which gives us a blank sheet you see here place create a place and I want to place what I've just drawn so it's on the desktop somewhere here's the gasket there's the flange, so we can set the flange, open, and there we are, we have a flange. We want two, because there's two sides, so we select a second one. As you can see, you can have as many as I want. And now, we need a gasket, so we go place again, we find gasket which is there open and there's our gasket but we need one of those now to make this fit together we place we use this these called constraints so we constrain this surface to that surface see but it's not in line as you can see so we press apply not okay because okay finishes the command if we press apply we can re reposition it again so we press apply then we can change this this is a sort of insert so we select it to that that's on the post surfaces so we select that And hang on, let's have a look. Yes. That. No, I've got that wrong. Cancel, start again. In that one. We go to there. That one. That one. There it goes, that's directly in the centre. So we're happy with that, so we press OK. Now then, and we need to put that on this side. So, strain that surface to that surface. 
Okay. As you can see, they're not in line. So we press apply because we want to further adjust it. So we go back to there. And we go to there. And then we go to there. Oh, and that's lucky. Right, look, we got these uh, holes in line, which is amazing. So we're happy with that. So press OK. Put on that sort of typical flange joint for a pipe. Now, you obviously know there's bolts missing. So the inventor has an inventor library. So we can go to a content center, as you call it. So we call it content center. Which is this little baby here. <coughs> you can see it's got all sorts of things. So we're going to fasteners. We go to bolts. We go to hex head bolts. And we've got all different kinds of specificated bolts here. Loads of them. So I don't know particularly which one I want. So I'm just going to put a bolt in for the sake of it. So let me go for that one. Or am I? Let's have a look at that one. So it's asking me what I want. 16. So I don't want that. Well, M18 by 1.5 pitch. I don't know what length I want. So we'll go with that for now. And there's a bolt. So I need to place that bolt in there to place it as you can probably guessed is by constraining and that's with a particular one again so we actually get it on that edge put it in that edge there and it pops in just nicely we're quite happy with that so we press ok now We can actually change the size of that, so we can change size. Oh, and its minimum is 70 mil. Oh, I don't like with it, but you can change it. I did 180, for instance, I can change it. It was 180. It's the wrong bolt. Really, it's the wrong bolt. I'm going to get rid of it. Let's get rid of the bolt. So we go over here and select delete. Let's get a proper uh, pick one that's going to do the job, Carl. So let's have a look. Every hex. Trying to park standard bolt. M18 50 long bolt ok I think that's better right that's a bolt better one 
So what we do, as I said before, showed you before, we place that bolt in the hole by constraining it around this edge here, making sure that little arrow in the centre is pointing out. And we put it in here and the arrow pointing out. It pops in there. Okay, as you can see, you need to put a washer on as well. So we go to place the full contents of there and we go to washers, plain washer. We go to whatever, um, There's so many specifications of washer. Let's go for a circular washer. Put an M18. No, oh, we haven't got one there, so that's no good to me. So we have a washer. I'm sure, it's the right one, but we have a washer. No, it's not the right one. Get rid of that. Try another one. D D D. That looks good, right? Washer. You don't believe there's so many different kinds of washer. Right. So the way we want to place that on this side of the flange. So we want to get that there, like that, with a little arrow sticking out there. I want to get the outer edge with the arrow sticking out there, and it goes in there. You see. See, that's why we don't need that washer. We need to change that washer because it's too wide. But we'll have it like that for now because we can select it and change size. Change it a little bit more, it's made it a bit smaller, but not small enough. Change size again. Change it to an M16. So it's come down the size. I need to change that. Number sixteen. So we've gone down. Now we're But as you can see, we need a bolt and a nut. Sorry. So we go to place the washer. Yeah, go to nut. Sorry, to place the washer. What you know? So we just get rid of that. Where's we? Nuts out there, we go. Nuts. You see the nuts. And we go for a. You see a metric nut. 
We can go to the table. We can't have that. Here, an 18, and we have a nut. Well, a black one. Place <laughs> of the content center. Eighteen by one point five. You'll do that. Will do right. So we have a look there. Well, oh, get out of here. Don't need another one. There you go. There's a knot. So we need to put a knot on the end of there. So again, not to constrain a particular one into there. Is that, as you see, the diameter is bigger than that, but it doesn't matter. It'll still go on the centre. So, but as you can see, they're two different sizes. Who want an air, air mate? I have. Have I got too big? I have. You've gone too big. You've gone too big. Let's change size. I, yeah, I have. 16 I want. That's why it looks weird. Right, that's all right. Okay, keep it. Can't strain that back on there again. No. Cancel. Strain. That one. There. To there. Okay. As you can see, the bolt doesn't go through the nut far enough, so we need to change the length of the bolt. So we select the bolt, select change size, and there's our length. So I reckon we need at least 65mm, so let's see what 65mm looks like. That's not bad, but I wonder if we can get away with a 60. No. Good wrong thing. No, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at that. Change size. Get away with a 60mm bolt. Just, that's perfect. So there you are, there's a bolt. But of course, you don't need to do each one individually. You can do a pattern. You go to this. You go to component that. That. And that. And then we go our circular pattern. Which literally could be this. Okay, and then we've got all four in. So there's your perfect. Flange joint for a pipe. With the uh, gasket in the middle there, as it should be. So that's how you model a pipe flange or flange joint. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.